Hi guys, I'm Sidra and welcome to my channel Ask Your Pharmacist. I'm a retail pharmacist and I get so many questions every day about do's and don'ts in the coronavirus pandemic. So in this video I will share everything that frontline pharmacy professionals need to know so they can help people approaching them with so many questions and concerns about the COVID-19. So let's just start. So firstly, what is coronavirus or COVID-19? It is a life-threatening pathogen that jumped from animals to humans in an Asian market with live animals. So firstly, it quickly spread locally and then in a blink of an eye, it was spread around the world before anyone could comprehend that what's happening. At the moment, we don't know much about coronavirus because it's very complex. But in this video, my goal is to provide you all the basic information about the disease, its symptoms, its spread, its control. So let's just dive right in. The virus is primarily transmitted through airborne droplets, cough, sneezes, and on the surfaces because it tends to reside on the surface for a couple of days. Also, this virus may be transmitted from asymptomatic or symptomatic patient to a healthy individual once he or she comes in contact to the patient. It transmits through the mucous membrane of mouth, nose, ears, and also through the eyes. The incubation period of COVID-19 has been estimated to between 12 to 14 days with an elapsing period of 5 to 6 days between the exposure of the virus and appearance of the symptoms. Now what are the symptoms of the COVID-19? The clinical course of COVID-19 often begins with just malaise, dry cough, shortness of breath, fatigue or fever. Now some patients have had severe nausea, vomiting or even diarrhea. Some people say that they lost uh, their sense of smell or they have distortion in taste. The disease normally progresses over a period of 10 to 14 days. About 5% of the patients with COVID-19 present with advanced symptoms or become critically ill to an extent that they have to be hospitalized on a ventilator or they need oxygen or they result in acute respiratory distress. Of these, many patients can survive if oxygen and supportive therapy provide their immune system enough time to kind of recover and fight off the virus. However, the challenge is for elderly people and those with other health conditions or a compromised immune system. These patients are actually at a greater risk of contracting the COVID-19 and also their recovery time is difficult and could be longer. Being a community pharmacist, I've noticed so many people come in the pharmacy with distress, anxiety, and stress of COVID-19. Because a lot of these people have this big misconception that if they get the disease, their recovery is not possible and they're eventually going to die. I want to make this very clear right now that not all the patients are at risk of mortality after contracting the disease. Actually, the mortality rate from the virus is about 2 to 3 percent. But it's very important to take precaution and we need to maintain social distancing. Remember to keep six feet distance from each other. Wash your hands with soap and water for about 20 seconds. Use hand sanitizer. If you are out and about and you touch other surfaces, do not uh, you know, rub your hands on the face or your mouth. Also monitor your body temperature. If the temperature is over 100 degrees, then I'd be concerned. You try to stay home, but if you have to go out, make sure you are wearing mask. Wearing mask not only protects others from getting the disease, but it also protects you not only from the coronavirus, but also many other viruses or bacteria in the atmosphere. Another very important point is that do not cough or sneeze in your hands like this. Always make sure that you use your inner elbow or your sleeve for coughing or sneezing. Now let's talk about treatment. I'm about to share something very important and I need all of you guys to pay attention. So at this time, any discussion of treatment or prevention from COVID-19 must start with one simple fact. And the fact is that no treatment has been shown effective and safe in the clinical trials. You know, several theories were in the air that hydroxychloroquine or chloroquine or the antibiotic azithromycin or z has been shown effective to treat the virus. And oh my God, after that, we started getting enormous number of prescriptions all day, every day for z hydroxychloroquine, that we actually had to limit the dispensing of the medication and we had to put our hydroxychloroquine in the same. Like, this is ridiculous. Please know that FDA has approved none of these medications to be effective against the virus 
and actually there is no clinical trial that proves that these medications are effective for the treatment of this disease. But do consider this fact that by hoarding and overusing these medications, you are putting yourself at a risk of side effects that come with these medications and probably building resistance and immunity to azithromycin when and if you need azithromycin for the treatment of a bacterial infection. Also, co-administration of azithromycin and hydroxychloroquine actually increases the QT interval so it's a big no-no for the cardiac patients they can't even use it it's a big contraindication in heart patients anyways also do not rush to er if you have fever malaise or cough thinking that you've gotten the disease if you do experience any of these symptoms isolate yourself and monitor the symptoms see if the symptoms resolve on their own in two to three days as these symptoms could be just common cold or influenza now it's very important that while self-isolating you stay out of touch with any of other family members or people living with you because still if you have got the disease then you may put them at the risk of getting the disease themselves although keep in mind that heart patients should not use Motrin and anybody who has liver disease must stay away from Tylenol as Tylenol can actually damage the liver now if you don't see any improvement in two to three days do see your doctor or pharmacist so they can test you for COVID-19 and do not panic okay because you have to just stay strong to stay at home self-isolate yourself and most likely your body will fight the virus and recover from this disease in about two weeks all right that's it for today's video please hit the subscribe button and if you have any questions or concerns do ask in the comment section below and finally please be sure to follow the cdc guidelines of maintaining the social distancing and wear masks when you're out and about i hope you're all safe and healthy